Hey everyone, how you doing today? Check this out. We're going to talk more about Aptera getting more upgrades. And so let's get into this baby right now. Let's do it. All right, welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. If you're new here, we appreciate you. And all my patrons, thank you so much for checking this channel out. We are going to continue to watch Aptera to grow and continue to take over the auto industry. This is something that's going to be fantastic because Aptera is doing some really amazing things and we're going to see them come to fruition very soon as they come out with their first test vehicle and show us exactly that they're for real so uh let's check this video out and we'll talk about the part two of this section so let's get into this Yes, everybody. So we're going to start off by talking about the placement of the speakers. I'm just going to blow this picture up a little bit just to show you where they're at. I think this is a really good spot for them. You got a speaker up here. Looks really good above the vent. And then you got a speaker down here. So you're going to get music coming from two directions just straight to the driver. Just looking at that better right there. And also I want to talk about that you also there's a, a control arm right here that you can move to actually tilt the steering wheel so that's going to help out a lot as well and the last time the last time i talked about the steering wheel or the yoke i should say you can see that they actually they also give you controls of the lights and the windshield wiper uh also how you can turn on the brightness and everything or the speed of the windshield wiper. So I had talked about how if your infotainment system goes out, you'll still have full control of whatever you need to do with your Aptera. I talked about how the buttons underneath the infotainment system, I mean, you can see them right there just a little bit, but, um, but you'll still have access to your park drive reverse. And of course there's a button for the horn and for your infotainment system, you'll still be able to control the volume right here, up and down. All right, so moving along here, we're looking at the infotainment center again, or the UI. And here we can see that, uh, what is this? Looks like there's another sensor for the rear tire. And it's showing that it's only 29 PSI. So the air pressure in the rear tire is getting low. But... I also like how not only do we have that sensor, but uh, it looks like your phone will be connected to the to the UI as well. So getting that extra information to be good as well. 
And once again, if that goes out, you still have analog buttons and switches that you can use to still run your app tier. How do you feel about that? Give me your comments below. Let me hear what you got to say. And so as we're moving out of the vehicle, you can see the two speakers on the passenger side. I think they're placed in a really good spot. I think that that is really going to give some nice, rich sound to everybody in the vehicle. Once again, tell me what you think. Uh, I think with that bass in the back, it's going to be really good. But without the bass, uh, hopefully these will sound really good. And so with the rear tire being low on air pressure, we need to be able to get to it. Let's see what they did to fix that. Okay, so you can see that there's something else that they added here, how you can get to the tire to put air into it. You got a little door that you can open up and use your air pump to pump air into the rear tire, get the air pressure back up. Um, on the front, we saw that there is a, the whole door opens up. And I think with this side, you should be able to do the same thing without having to take the whole thing off. But give me your comments. Let me hear what you got to say. Eventually, you're going to have to be able to get to this entire tire. And if the something with the, it needs to be replaced, then this whole thing is going to have to come off. And we don't know exactly what you're going to have to go through to, in order to get this piece off. But I mean, that is good to have, to be able to have that hole there so that you can still pump air into it. Um, but um, when it comes to getting to the tire, probably what you're going to have to do is just take this whole piece off on both sides and just stick it in the back's uh, cab so that you could just ride to the tire place and get your tire taken care of. But anyway, once again, give me your thoughts. Let me hear what you got to say about the all upgrades that they did. It looks like it's very nice all the way around. I really do appreciate the hard work that they're doing. And I know that very soon now, Aptera come out with their test vehicles. So we'll be able to get real world information as far as the solar panels, the wheels, the sound system, the suspension and you know, the UI, everything else that's on there, we'll be able to get real world information from it and see how our Aptera is performing. The solar panels want to know how that's doing, the battery range. So all of that is going to be really good to have and be able to find out exactly how Aptera is going to perform. But anyway, if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. You know, that's how you're going to keep up with all my videos. And for my patrons, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all that you do. Continue to support my channel and we'll continue to get this information out to people so that everybody can have an Aptera and can stop putting CO2 into the atmosphere and help clear the air. But anyway, y'all take care. You have a good one. We'll talk to you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.
Do you mind to quit your pretending truth or false? The shit never ending. Hear me now. 